everyone, welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. And my name is Ani, and today I'm going to bring you, well, two uh, dishes uh, cooked today. And then this one that I'm still trying to find somehow, there was a glitch. Um, and that's on my, how I do my mashed potatoes, my whipped mashed potatoes. But uh, I've got to do, I've got to find it. I stored it somewhere, went somewhere, and I have yet to find it. Uh, well, I did find it, but now I don't remember where because I got distracted and I had to stop what I was doing, you know, retracting it. And so now I've got to remember how I got there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so it's two videos today. One of them is going to be, or the first one's going to be um, an Oreo chocolate cheesecake. And it's going to be the... Uh, of course, cookie crumb, the Oreo cookie crumb base. Then it's going to be a chocolate cheesecake. Um, and then it's going to be um, the vanilla one, just a regular cream cheese cake with uh, Oreo crumbs mixed in it. And then, of course, on the top, I don't know if I'm going to put more crumbs on top of that or if I'm just going to do some... Um, little uh, if I'm just gonna pipe some little uh, cream cheese whipped uh, flowers and then just a cookie on each one um, I haven't yet figured out you know how I want to finish this but uh, I'm sure I'll get there um, and let me show you what you're gonna need for that recipe okay hold on okay so you're going to need a uh, spring form pan which is this right here these are the ones that you know the bottom comes out see a removable okay and they're called spring form pans baking pans but anyway it's hard to do this one handed <laughs> and you're going to need one stick of butu, butter, you're going to need some vanilla extract, you're going to need, to need some semi-sweet chocolate, okay, to mix in with the half of the uh, cream cheese that you're going to use for the first layer, and you're going to need some Oreo, uh, chocolate Oreo cookies. I got the party size so that I could have enough. And um, like I said, cream cheese, you're going to need three. Okay, three eight ounce bars. Um, because you're going to divide this. Half of it will go, uh, 1.4 will go towards the bottom layer with, mixed with the chocolate. And then the other will be the top layer mixed with some of the cookie crumb okay that i'm going to do i will not be removing the cream from the middle that to me is an added flavor and it's got the sugar and all that already in it so why throw that away okay so i'm going to be using that anyway just give me about an hour because i just took these out the the fridge and they're so cold and i want everything to be at room temperature um and the eggs as well so this is a, a taco breakfast bait casserole that I'm going to make hubster for the week and I'll be filming that as well um, so I've got everything laid out warming up to room temperature and I'll bring you back in about an hour when I'm ready to start but in the meantime uh, you all go go ahead and get your items together get ready to bake along with me I'll see you then in an hour okay well I'm back uh, it's been about an hour. Everything should be at room temperature or so. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get our cookie crumb. I'm going to take half my bar of butter. I'm thinking that's going to be enough. And I'm going to melt that in the microwave. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And half six. Leave that here just in case. I need some more. 
but I'm going to start with half a stick. Okay, let me get a ramekin. Put this in the microwave. Be right back. Okay, now, first thing we have to do to get our crumb, cookie crumb, is we're going to crush the Oreos. Uh, again, I'm going to leave the cream in it. It's, it kind of helps keep the crumbs together. So. So we've got a bowl. We'll put our cookies in here as we crumble them up. Okay. I'll bring you back. I'm going to do two batches of these. So um, I guess two rolls, maybe two and a half. I'll be back. All right. So I've got my parchment paper down. I sprayed the pan with butter, put the parchment paper down, sprayed the parchment paper on top. I have my two sleeves of crushed Oreo. And I have uh, probably about six of the cookies um, from the two sleeves in here. And that's going to be to mix with the top layer of the cream cheese. This right here is going to be our base. Okay, and you want it just like that, nice and crumbly. Let me get my butter. And just we want to put the half a stick in here. Okay. So this is very well incorporated into each ground cookie. Okay, I'm going to throw this uh, into the, not throw it, but you know, place this in the refrigerator and while I make the cream cheesecake.
I'll be right back. I've got to get my stand mixer out. Okay, guys, um, I forgot to show you. You're also going to need a cup of sugar. Okay, of course, your three eggs. And I'm going to, I decided to add some whipping, heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that to soft peaks. Get my vanilla. I've got my three bars of cream cheese in the uh, stand mixer bowl. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get my peaks going. Well, you know what? I could do both. I'm going to get ahead. Using my paddle, I'm going to start whipping this. Cream cheese. Till it comes to a nice whipped mixture. Let's go ahead and get that off there, get the sides, bring that down, make sure everything gets whipped nicely, start from the bottom, okay. the sugar and soft now that's the sugar and it's blending in real well and we want to go ahead and scrape down the sides okay make sure everything is getting incorporated okay a little bit higher so we're going to give it one more scraping and then we're going to let it whip up while we on a lower speed while we do the look how nice and soft that is see while we deal with the uh, whipping the heavy whipping cream. Whipping the heavy whipping cream. <laughs> All right. Lock. Let that go ahead and whip slowly. Or at a low speed, rather. Let's go ahead and put in our vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. So, let me bring you back so you can see what I'm doing here with the whipping cream. I got this just to block in case it splatters. Alright, so using the emulsifier, the whisk blade, we're going to go ahead and whip this.
It only takes a couple minutes. Go ahead and stop the blender over here. for this you can put this back put back a little later we're done with this put this back all right so now we are going to remove the paddle Taste. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to take our heavy whipping cream. Sit in with this. That. Now this is an added step that I'm doing. I just like a richer cream cheese. We're going to fold that in. Okay. So now, the chocolate part, I know I said half. Um, so, I'm just going to fill, or do enough to fill this bowl. I just want a thin layer on the bottom that's chocolate. I can't do too much chocolate. It's not good for me. So, not at this point. Not at 10% kidney function. Chocolate is, for some reason, anything dark is no good. Causes a lot of pain. All right. So, we're going to reserve this. Actually, I'm going to shower cap that and put it in the fridge until we're ready for it. That's what we're going to set aside is the white. Oh, you know what I haven't done though? I didn't put any eggs in there. I wonder if I need to. Hmm. I wonder if I want to. If I do, I'll have to bake it. So I guess I will. And then we're just going to have to bake it. I was trying to make it a little bake, but I better not mess with this. Let me put this back. Okay. You could do it just... Um, I would add some sweet, you know, condensed milk. 
You can do it without the eggs, but I'm going to make it with the eggs so it comes out nice and rich. And some flour. I'm going to add flour to it too so it can come out a little bit cakey. That's going to cause it to be very rich. All right, three eggs in. Let's go ahead and get my paddle back. that mix in there and then we'll add the flour so Huff's to finally finish his office I mean the guest bedroom which is he's going to make his new office and I got a little video of it and I'll attach it at the end so y'all can see. He does really good work. He does the phone. And he's uh he's moving his stuff in there right now. Okay, I'm gonna say about a quarter cup of flour. Put a little bit in at a time. Always put your flour in last because what you don't want is a tough cheesecake. You don't want to whip it too much. Alright. So I'm going to put my oven on. To 350 and here we go we're going to make sure everything got stirred real well I don't want to blend it anymore So we got our eggs in there. We got our one quarter cup of flour. If you don't really want to put that much, you can do three tablespoons, which I would say probably would just about equal that if it doesn't. Okay. Now. Okay. It's gonna be our chocolate layer right here so what are we going to do we're going to take our chocolate to cut it into little pieces bit of uh, milk to this and put it in the microwave slowly. Every 30 seconds I'm going to take it out and just stir it. Just going to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. About a tablespoon. Okay. 
three more tablespoon and every 30 seconds I'm gonna whip this all right I'll be right back it only took 30 seconds for that amount of chocolate so if you want it darker then get yourself some dark semi-sweet chocolate or just put if you want it more richer or whatever or if you want it richer then just put the whole bar in but I'm not doing the whole cheesecake chocolate so that's why I only took half the bar of chocolate okay all right so there's that so what I'm gonna do next is mix this in together And incorporate that chocolate in with this layer. stir it really well so all the chocolate incorporates you'll see it getting darker and darker and darker okay now at this point if you wanted to add some Oreo cookie crumb to this section you can I'm not going to okay no chocolate now I'm gonna get my pan let's put this chocolate away back in the fridge all right and we're going to put this layer in the pan Here. Now we're going to spread that out. If it has bits of chocolates in there, don't worry about it. That's it. That's an added bonus. That's it. As far as the milk chocolates, it's just an added bonus. Okay. You want to make sure it goes all the way to the edge. Is that very good? At this point, if you wanted to put, let's say, strawberries or some. Caramel or I don't know peanut butter. Uh, you can not straight peanut butter. You have to mix it up. You have to whip up a peanut butter filling. A 
if you wanted to put some nuts in there, I wouldn't put nuts inside a cake like that because it would break somebody's tooth. <laughs> they won't know it's in there. Then we want to put the top layer on. You have to be careful not to spread it or mix it. You have to be very gentle with it. Okay. And we just want to gently fill this in there. I wanted to put the cookie crumb and mix it in with the vanilla, with the top part. Then I decided I'm just going to put a crumble, crum, crumble on it, on top. Because it'll go really nice. With, it'll look really pretty with the white buds of whipping cream. And then the Oreos sitting on top, you know. And there won't be too much Oreo. Be just the right amount of consistencies of Oreo. Because you got that thick layer on the bottom. Alright, so. So let me get back it up so.
pat that down a little bit. So it'll bake right in. There it is, folks. So I'm going to put it in the oven oh, for about 45 minutes, I would think, at 350. So I'll bring you back when it comes out. Okay, well, everyone, here it is. Here's my Oreo uh, chocolate cheesecake, chocolate and vanilla cheesecake. That's it all finished up. Nice and tall. See how pretty she is? So, Hops is going to take this to his work tomorrow. And there it is. Pretty cool, isn't she? Hops did the uh, piping. But anyway, until the next one, you all, God bless. Take care of yourselves and one another. Thanks for watching. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can go for some of this. But I'm not going to. But you can. Make yourself some. Bye.